Hey Lunchabellas! Okay, are you ready for another really yummy recipe? This I found on Hungry Girl. I kind of switched some things around, but it is their take on manicotti. So um, I picked up some squash or zucchini, uh, cottage cheese, onion, salt, pepper, parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, garlic, and crushed tomatoes as well as some more of the shredded mozzarella cheese. And you're not gonna need all of that cheese. Um, we're only gonna use a little of each one. So the first thing that you do is you cut your zucchini into like quarter inch strips or length, however you say that. <laughs> um, but I'm just using the slicer that I got. I believe it's from Pampered Chef and it is probably close to 20 years old. I am not even kidding. I swear, their products never break on me. That's why almost everything I have is Pampered Chef because it never breaks, I don't have to ever replace it. So I'm just slicing this up and Bella is kind of helping me out a little bit, moving them out of my way. But this just made it go so much quicker than having to you know, slice it with a knife, which you totally can do that too. Um, and then the next thing you're gonna do is chop up an onion. And I started with that dinky little knife and I had to switch to the big guns. <laughs> and then I just threw in the um, garlic with the onion. Um, I just maybe used a little squeeze of the garlic, it's just to taste. And I sauteed it in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And then once that was done, I put it into a bowl, added cottage cheese, see I'm, I, made a mess typical me cooking <laughs> um, I believe it was about a cup of cottage cheese you could also use ricotta that's actually what the recipe uh, called for but I did not have ricotta cheese I had cottage cheese and I'm just kind of giving that a quick stir and then to that we're gonna add salt and pepper and this again is just to taste so if pepper is too spicy for you you can omit the pepper um, or if you don't like adding a lot of sodium, omit the salt too. I didn't use too much of either one, so and it ended up tasting so stinking good. I was um, at one point thinking, I don't know if this is going to turn out. I don't know how much, because we really love our pasta. Uh, <laughs> but it was good. So there's the Italian seasoning I added, and I would say I added maybe about two tablespoons of that, but again, it's to taste. You can taste test this too once you get it all mixed up um, and see if you like the flavor and if you want to add anything else. I also did, you might have just seen, um, added about two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And then, now these zucchini strips, I had put them on a plate and put them in the microwave for about two to three minutes and it was basically just to soften them. I didn't cover them or anything. The recipe did say put a paper towel over it, a wet paper towel. I didn't have one, so I just kind of put them on the plate, overlapping just slightly, and microwave them for a few minutes. And then when they came out, I let them cool off, and then I just put the filling right inside them. As you can see, like when I laid the zucchinis out, I overlapped three of them just slightly. And here you can see me doing it. Kind of. <laughs> What's going on? Um, and then I added the filling right to kind of the end there. Maybe about two to three tablespoons of the filling is all that I could get to fit in there. And then I just slowly rolled it up. carefully moved it over to my 8 by 8 inch uh, baking dish and then here I am just rolling up a few more I had extra filling left and I could have totally um, sliced up another zucchini but I didn't and um, I had three of them and that was filling to me and Bella had two and I only made five I think the recipe called for six and there I'm making just the topping the like um, sauce to go on top so it's just crushed tomatoes some more of the Italian seasoning and then some more of the garlic and if you have garlic powder use that I don't have garlic powder so that's why I'm using the crushed garlic 
and then you just kind of spread that right onto the top of your little roll-up things and then throw it in the oven at 350 for about 18 minutes just until it's hot because you've kind of already cooked or steamed the zucchini in the microwave um, to soften them up so there it is and it did say to make sure the zucchini was really dry like pat them dry but I didn't have paper towels so I didn't do that so that's the liquid at the bottom is probably from the zucchini as well as maybe a little bit of um, like the juice from the tomatoes and now I'm thinking how am I gonna get these out I know they are gonna fall apart and guess what? They held together really well. I was so surprised. And there it is. Super delicious and really yummy. And I would say give it a try. Now, I would not call this manicotti because it's missing the noodle, like the pasta. And I just hate when people call things what they're not like cauliflower mashed potatoes no that is just like ground up cauliflower do not call that mashed potatoes there is a difference they don't taste the same to me so just call it what it is and I'll probably like it this I'm just going to call zucchini manicotti or cheesy zucchini or something because it is not like a noodle one but it was really good and we just paired ours with a slice of cheesy Texas toast so if you tried this one out, let me know and I hope you guys have a great day.